Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today, as you can see on my screen, we are going to talk about three things: syntaxes, variables, and comments. So syntaxes is like how do you frame your program? What are the things that you write in a program, and how do you make it look a professional program? Second would be variables. So variables is like playing around, setting up, and passing the arguments. So how do you pass the arguments? How do you set up the variables in order to make your program work and do things? And third would be comments. So this is how you control what your program shows and what not. So according to uh, comments, what you can do is there are number of lines that are written in your script and through comments you can control what 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 the user sees on their screen or not. So guys, let's get started. So guys. as you can see on my screen let's understand how do we structure our program and how how the flow goes in the program in various type of commands so what we'll do we'll write two batch script over here let's start with the first one we'll create a batch file known as with echo dot bat and the other one would be without echo now i'm naming this this way so that we can understand what exactly is going on okay so that's how it's done now right click open in notepad plus plus i hope you guys have already installed it now first command would be echo off i'll tell you the difference between both of them like why do we need echo off and why we don't let's move on to the next line and write some stuff this is the first line of the program okay i spelled it wrong let's fix it and then we write a dir command and then what we'll do is we'll try to print a file through this and we'll name it my file dot txt so through this command this angular bracket and my file dot txt you can print a file sorry create a file and name it this way so my file name would be my file dot txt now what path should i pick up what i'll do is i'll copy this path because i want to print it over here and place it over here once i do it i'll just save this file okay and at the end let's echo something this program is now finished so if you want i can put a pause command over here so that it can be paused but i'll run through command prompt in a different way so let's copy this and open the other file which is without echo and paste it over here now what we'll do is we'll just delete this part okay we can just rename it which is the third thing today we'll go, we're going to talk about and let's go now open a cmd over here and what we can see is let's execute with echo dot batch file i'm going to expand it but if i'm going to expand it you won't be able to see the new file so let's execute it so say this program this is not recognized as internal or external command well this program is now finished hmm so there is something wrong with my program so let's go back to with echo dot bat okay so what went wrong over here so if you look carefully that this hasn't been provided with any kind of command and there is nothing to prefix so what can be done either you can rem it 
or you can echo it. So let's echo it. So we'll save the program, we'll minimize it, we'll go back again here and then we'll run it. So it ran. This is the first line of the program. This program is now finished and I can see my file over here. Right click, open it and you can see it has printed everything which was in the directory. It has given you information about the disk. It has given you information about the serial number and the path. So this is how you print it. Now let's see the difference when the echo is not off. I'll just close this. I'll delete the file. Okay, I won't delete it. I'll just rename it to my file underscore one. I'll go here without echo. I'll open the notepad file. I'll give this as echo in order to avoid the error we faced earlier. And this is rem. Now let's minimize it go over here. And we do a without echo. You can see that it has printed something over here. It has printed the path over here. It has printed something over here. So there is a three step process over here. But in the previous program, you can see everything happened within one line. Why that happened? Because of echo. So use you, this program uses the echo of command to ensure that the commands are not shown when the code is executed and that's why we use echo off so that's the reason we uh, we use echo and and that's how we start structuring our uh, any script from the first step so if you'll open this myfile.txt it will show you the same result as the previous one but it's just the command prompt looks much easier to understand and clean. So I'll name it my file underscore two dot txt. So guys, if we try to understand what exactly happened over here, what we can understand is that in this batch file, this command dir, which is for directory, which gives the content, which is in the directory, at this directory path. And this has uh, taken in as an input, and then from this Angular bracket, it has converted to myfile.txt. So if I take a look at this, you can see that had it been a command on the command prompt, it would have shown me the result on that command prompt, the black screen. But right now, I have made it in such a way, executed in such a way that it has taken a form of a file, which is in a txt format and it has given that output. So we learned here to create an output in a form of txt file. Now let's talk about the variables. For that, let's create a new batch file. Let's name it vars dot batch. Just remove the txt from here. Again, the same warning, which we'll accept. We'll open it in notepad plus plus. The first step, always now echo off now we know it why what we'll do is we'll do first thing as the command line arguments for that let us give it echo percentage sign the first argument in order to save time i'll just copy and paste it and number it because it would be the first second third and the fourth command I can use a pause over here if I want to double click on it, but I don't won't do it because I'll, I'm going to run it another way. I'll just save this or you want to echo, you can echo anything. How do I run it? Just minimize this. CMD will open it over here. I think it's clearly visible. I'll just expand it. What I'll do, I'll just Reference the vars.batch file here. The first argument let's give 20, 30, 40, and 50. Four argument acceptor there in the file, and four argument we are passing over here. So first one would be 20, second, 30, and so on. 
till the four, fourth argument. And you can see it has echoed on the screen, printed on the screen that 20, 30, 40, and 50. And that's what we gave as an argument. So that's that's one of the way. Ideally, there are two types of variables in batch file. One is for parameters, which can be passed when the batch file is called, and the other one uh, via the set command. Whatever I have shown you is the first way, and we'll talk about the set command now. So how do we do that? So let's go back, open our file. Let's under understand the syntax first. I'll just rename it because I don't want it to be printed or read. First keyword is set and slash a, then the variable name, which can be anything equal to the value. Now, this slash a is responsible for numerical value values. If your value is not numerical, like one, two, three, or any number, please don't use this. Make sure there is no space between the equal to sign and onto the, its left and onto its right. Now let us do some demo. What we'll do is we'll set a message, say out loud. Say out loud is the variable name. If you will compare it with the syntax and say hello world. It need not to be in inverted commas. And what you will do is echo. Make sure whenever you print some kind of variable, there will be always in this percent sign. Let's execute it. Now we have to give this because what we having right now is the code in which it is still accepting the value. So let's give it and you can see hello world over there. But if you want to remove it, what you can do is you can just rem all of it or you can just um, delete it. That would be fine as save it, go back, plus arrow and hit enter by removing all of them. Hello world. So you see how do we set a variable over here. Now, if you want to work with numerical values, let's just clean the screen, go back. And let's say we want to work with numerical values. What we'll do is we'll start setting it. So set is the keyword slash a, which I just uh, told about and uh, just told about. Let's say first value. What we can do is we can give it 10. After that, let's say set slash a second equal to you can say 30 that will be fine as well and then we'll add both of them so we have to set a value add and we'll just add it over here but it's a numerical value so do not forget the a slash a equal to i told you that the values are always always given in percentile when we are referencing them so there would be second and here it would be first so this is done and you can see the structure of the program started with sorry script started with echo off it's we are trying to declare some variables over here and then we will echo we are referencing it so we'll echo what add over here so 10 plus 30 is 40 so ideally it should print 40 so if i echo it sum is and give an equal to sign over here. Let's see what we get. Is it going to pass or fail? Sum is 40. So that's how you give this. I hope you have understood what happened over here. We just assigned the value of first and second to add and printed it. And that's how it worked. So what did we learn over here? We learn a few things. First thing would be echo of why to use, when to use, and how to use. This is this helps us structuring the program in the first place. We started like this. After that, what did we learn? We learn how to rem the comment thing. 
and after that at the end what did we learn how to create a file here it was text file what did we use we use an angular bracket what was that the command was there then the angular bracket and the result has to be inside some kind of file which is a text file so the file name dot txt so this is how it's done so i ho hope you have enjoyed the video till here like share and subscribe thank you guys i'll see you in the next video